Hey folks, Steve from the Boys to the Aurora Museum, standing in front of our M1 simulator display. It's an M1, it's a Metropolitan car, the first series, came into being around 1969 to 1971 on the Wild Railroad. They came into place in order to replace the aging steel fleet of passenger cars. So, the M1, now they're up to M3, M7, M9, those are the cars running around the railroad today, the M9s obviously being the newest ones. So let's go take a look inside the M1 simulator and let's see what it's all about. So here we are in the M1 simulator. Simulators because this was a simulator built for the Long Island Railroad to simulate operations on the trains. And it is simulated train engineers because obviously you have a brand new engineer, he's never been behind the controls before. No matter how much you teach him, at some point you got to kind of set him loose to do his thing. Well, they don't want to set him loose on an operating passenger train and take a chance on something going wrong at speed. So they put them in the simulators first so that they could simulate operating an actual train. And what this is, is, is it's an actual M1 car, approximately the first 20 feet or so of the car. And it was built specifically as a simulator. As such, it's built the same as the cars would be built, but obviously only the first 20 feet or so. But all the controls and all the operations are exactly the same as they built into the original cars. So if we take a look in the cab over here, you can see what's in there. It's an actual locomotive cab. And this is what the engineer would have seen in the cab of an actual M1 electric multiple unit car. All the controls are the same, all of the operations are the same. Looking out the windshield, he'd be looking at a screen inside a building that would be showing him a movie of the actual railroad that he's supposed to be operating on. The only thing different in here from an actual M1 cab would be the little screen that you see right there by the window, and that monitor was used to display cab signal aspects for the train as the engineer operated. So the engineer would sit down here and operate the train just as an actual engineer would operate the train. He has an actual directional control, he has actual throttle and braking controls, and this would interact electronically through a computerized system that would make the train feel and operate as if it was actually running down the rails. Again, this is a precursor to actual training on operating trains. The radio would work, the gauges would work, the lights would work, the PA, the transmit on the radio, the buttons, everything would work just like the real thing. And that's what the simulator does. The railroads had a number of simulators over the years and only recently phased out the simulators in themselves to a more, much more computer-based operation. But again, this is a classic, classic simulator that dates back to the very first ones when they first realized they needed simulators in 1971. And we realize how lucky we are that the railroad was generous enough to donate this to us for our museum and to have it preserved in the history books. Come on down to the museum. You can sit in here. You can play with it and enjoy it.